हेलो एवरीवन गाइस टुडे विल बी डिस्कस द सेकंड मेथड्स फॉर द हैंडलिंग डेडलॉक व्हिच इज डिटेक्शन एंड रिकवरी वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द फर्स्ट मेथड व्हिच वाज द प्रिवेंशन प्रिवेंशन मेथड फॉर द डेडलॉक तो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन दैट दोस हु हैव नॉट वाच दैट वीडियो सो गाइस प्लीज गो इन द प्लेलिस्ट एंड वाच दैट वीडियो सो इन दिस मेथड फर्स्ट वी हैव टू डिटेक्ट द डेडलॉक इन द सिस्टम देन आफ्टर फाइंडिंग द डेडलॉक we will recover that that log okay so let's see how we can detect so there is a one method that is a wait for graph method by which we can detect the dead log in the system so it says that there is a graph which consists the v and e which is a vertices and e for the edges so how we can use this vertices and edges in the transaction or in a system let's suppose there is a two transaction t1 and t2 okay so t1 and t2 are the vertices of this graph and if i put an arrow that is an edge from t1 to t2 this is an edge which says that ki t1 is requesting t1 is requesting to t2 to release its resources because t1 wants its resources to done its work so this is the as shows that t1 is requesting to t2 so this is the way how we can represent a graph so how this wait for graph method helps in detecting the deadlock so uh, if you have remembered that we have done the uh, necessary conditions for the deadlock in that concept we done the four uh, conditions so one condition was the circular weight if you have remembered that the circular weight circular weight says that if there is a circle or a circular in which all the transaction are waiting state that means it is a circular weight and the system in a dialog so same thing we will find here ki if there are transactions or a system in which every transaction is wait in a waiting state and it creates a circle that means it is a circular weight and system in a in a dialog state okay so let's see how let's suppose we have a transaction uh, wait a minute let's suppose we have a transaction t1 then transaction t2 and then transaction t3 and the last one the transaction 4 this is these are the four transaction suppose t1 is requesting to t2 to release its resources okay guys but t2 is requesting to t3 to release its resources and t4 is requesting to t4 or uh, t3 is requesting to t4 to release its resources and t4 is requesting to t1 to release its request that means t1 is waiting for the t2 to release wait t2 is waiting for the t3 wait state t2 in wait state t3 is waiting wait t3 is requesting to t4 that means t3 is waiting to release resources by the t4 that means t is in a wait state t4 is requesting to t1 to release its resources so t4 is waiting that means Uh, let's see the, is there any uh, cycle i start from the t1 it is a cycle t2 t3 t4 to t1 that means this system is in a deadlock state because there is circular weight okay guys so we will say this system in a deadlock state but sometimes question comes like this suppose we have t1 cycle to t2 then t3 then t4 okay guys this is the circular weight but there is a transaction t5 or we will release to this one uh, t5 okay so sometime asked is it is a circular weight or not no this is not the circular weight because the transaction 5 is not requesting to any other transaction to release its resources and t5 is not under the waiting state and according to the definition of deadlock all the transactions in the system should wait or should be in the waiting state so t5 is not in the waiting state when the t5 release its resources it will be given to t4 and where and when t4 completes its work it will release its resources and which will be given to t3 that means this system is not in a deadlock state okay guys so when we have detected that deadlock then how we can recover that so there is a very simple method that is known as rollback okay guys we apply the roll back in the transaction so it will remove this wait state suppose we want to roll back t1 so it will remove this one okay 
this will uh, this edge will be removed that means there is no not cycle there is no cycle so there is no no circular weight that means there will be no deadlock okay so after removing this edge that means t1 will release its resources and this resources will be given to t4 when t4 completes its resources or uh, uh, its work then its resources will be given to t3 t3 because t3 is requesting to t4 when t3 completes its work it given to the t4 t2 then t1 then t1 work starts it will get the resources from t2 as well Okay, guys. So in the in this way, we roll back and remove the deadlock in the system. So this is the how we can detect and how we can recover from the system. So this is all about uh, from the deadlock. So guys, this is all about how we can handle the deadlocks by using a detection and recovery method. This is all about the deadlock. So guys, here this section is end up. And if my videos are helping you, please guys like and share this video and subscribe the channel. Thank you.